There's one more loop we need to take a look at in Java, which is the do while loop. Now we've seen the while loop and we've seen the for loop, and those are pretty similar to each other. The do while loop is going to have a noticeable difference, which is it's going to be guaranteed to run at least one time before you even take a look at the condition, which means if your condition is not met from the start, well, you're still going to run the loop at least one time. So we're going to see how we can do this. And the do while loop is going to be closer related to the while loop. So we know that we're going to have to write our initialization somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and write integer x and assign that a value of zero, which is what I'm going to want to start with and you go ahead and write the keyword do for the do while loop and you're just going to go ahead and write the body like this so all your loop is going to be included inside of this body right here we're going to get to the looping part in a moment so you can go ahead and write whatever you want inside of here I'll go ahead and put a simple output all right system out print line and I want to print out x and I'm going to have to put my increment operator somewhere inside the body like we saw with the while loop in this case I'll put x plus plus over here which means each time I see x plus plus I'll want to increase x by one so first time we pass through will be zero second time will be one two three four and so on now we have the do part and this is always going to run right notice that we haven't even looked at the while part we haven't even looked at the looping characteristics of this yet so this means this is going to execute no matter what now if it's going to execute more than one time will depend over here on the while condition so you write the keyword while below here you can actually go ahead and you can put it on another line it really doesn't matter where you put it and then you put your condition in there so i can go ahead and write x less than five now we'll take a look at exactly what this means, right? We're going to go ahead and execute whatever's inside of this body for the do. And then we're going to take a look at this condition. And if this condition is still active, we can go ahead back to the start of the do body. And we're going to go ahead and go through the entire thing again. So if we were to go ahead and run this, we're going to go see we're going to get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we were to go ahead and make this condition not true, say when x is greater than 5, which is not true in this case, because we know x is entering this as 0, we'll see we'll only be able to run this one time. However, we're still running it one time. If you had the same thing going on with a normal a while loop or a for loop, well, you wouldn't have it being ran at all. You would just have it being skipped over because the condition was not satisfied. So the do while loop is different in that you're going to be guaranteed at least one run through the loop, and it's going to have the while loop characteristics in that you'll have to obviously write what the initial value of the variable is going to be. You'll have to put your increment operator somewhere inside the body, and you'll have your uh, condition somewhere inside of the brackets where the keyword while is. So that's how we look at the do while loop. And now we've seen the three main loops for Java programming. If you have any questions about any of them, please leave in the comments below and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.